how we can store our data in IndexedDB and which is given by the browser and how we can use that while making a background sync call. We are going to see that in this video. Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristics. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the framework and all about the algorithm. So please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet. So in the previous video and that is about background sync, while we are making a call from the service worker, what we did is we have, we have had coded the value because at that time we are not using the index DB or you are not storing data in the index DB API. And if you haven't watched the background sync video, I will suggest please go and watch that one. I will link the video there. So now come to the video. We are going to implement the background sync. So here we will access the data from our index DB. And if I will go to the browser and I will just open the developer tools. Here you can see in the application tab, we have the index DB and web SQL as well. So we are using the index DB in this video. So now we will start the implementation for the index DB and the index DB you can do in normal JavaScript and normal HTML as well. That what we are going to do it in service worker because it's running on the vanilla JavaScript. As you are using Angular and we have TypeScript support, then we are going to use a package that is IDB and that is not only support for TypeScript, it is supported for the JavaScript as well. I am going to install that once. For that, you can run npm install IDB and just hit enter. As the IDB is installed, we will go to the package.json. You can see here we have our IDB here. So the version may be vary depending on when you are installing uh, the IDB and it will going to install the latest uh, stable version. Now we'll go to our app component. So here we are making a background sync call and which is registering our post data tag for the background sync and which you can see it here. If I open the service worker, which you can see here, we are checking the tag and we are calling the data. This is this all we did in the previous video. So I have created a service folder. So we'll create a service for the index DB. So I will get the service inside the services folder. So we can see here our index DB service is created. So here we will going to use the IDB package. So in this video, we will just going, going to add uh, our key value pair to our DB and from the service worker, we will retrieve those key value pair by providing key, we will retrieve the value and you can do a lot of things. I just will just discuss on that. So we'll just insert this db and one more thing is index db is just a kind of a no sql database just think like it has a key value pair or just like your local storage so you have a key and a value so value can store anything like so it's same as local storage but it will be accessible throughout your uh, browser and in the pws so we have imported the open db here now we will go and create an interface so that it spe specifies our the db schema and our db type so for that i will just create an interface here itself and we will import the db schema from the idb before proceeding further i want to explain you that how the index db work so to access the index db or to do any operation you have to go with certain steps like first you have to open the index db okay now the index db is open on success then you will create a transaction and that transaction with that transaction you will add add some data will update some data you delete some data or you will get the data then you will close the transaction so that's how you will mainly uh, get or interact with the index db to make it little clear we'll just go to uh, our npm package we we just imported i will just go to the typescript level so so this is uh, pretty useful for JavaScript. Okay, so here you have like basically get, put, delete, clear and get all keys. And now I will go to the TypeScript part. So here you can see the best part is you can specify the type as it's TypeScript and that's what we are using here. So for the, for the better use, just go through the package and just 
try to see how you can use it betterly with your project so as i told you the first thing first is we have to connect to the db by opening the index db so for that we'll do this as i told you first we need to call the open db and open db is what we imported from the idb so in the open db first parameter is the your database name so this is what we are giving as my db and i will just show you by running the code a database will be created in our in our index db and this is we are giving the version so which version uh, our database is you can see it here now uh, we are creating a object store also so the, the store is like the collection or the or a table for table for sql database and collection for the nosql or mongo database so here it's the store and we need to call this one from the constructor so it will connect to the db and the start of the application itself and if the db is not there it will create and if it exists then it will try to connect so it's a normal simple thing now we will add two method that is add and delete we are going to use only add today so here what we are doing is we are calling this dot db dot put so db is what our instance which we have opened here and the dot put in the put we are passing the data source name means the object source name and for for again for reference the collection or the table name and here we are passing the value and this is our key if you remember in the service worker we are using only the name to to specify the call is going to the server or not so that's why i have used only name as a key and you can put a object here by stringify the value so you need to stringify because it will only accept a string so you, you can stringify that value and can put that object and delete is same it's it's like normal mongodb call you just need to delete you just pass the data source means the here our object store and just pass the key now we need to call this add user method when we will have a internet connection problem so if i'll go to the app component or ts in previously what we are doing is when we will make a call to the server if that failed then we are going calling the background sync so here we'll call the add sync method for that we need to import our service here so we have injected our service and here we'll just call this dot save it dot add user and if you see here it said it's returning a promise so i will just go to our dot then and we'll just call this method and if it fails then for now i'll just log the value so again i will explain here that when you are making a call if the user doesn't have internet access and here we are only considering the error will come as user has doesn't have internet access but what you can do is either you call this always and pass the data else check the status if the status is get to a timeout that is 504 or 504 then call this one so here for this video we are calling it always if it's getting an error okay instead of passing the fun of heuristic i will just pass the object dot name by doing this our 50 percent work is done 50 percent work means from our client side uh, means from from the angular side when the user will hit the post data it will going to call this method and it's fail it will going to register uh, store your data in your index db and it will going going to register uh, a tag for the background sync operation but now in the service worker that which is here here we have to fetch those data from the index db and then we need to pass the data to the api call means our fetch post call here so to access the index db in the service worker file we will going to do this 
and here we are using the index db from the window object so i have not given the window because it's not required nowadays so you can directly put the index db and you can directly access the data but before that we need to call the add data get data and send and obviously you can give a better name here and we can access the name here so that these two will be different so coming back to the method that get data and send and i know you will going to give a better name so first here what we are doing is again as i told you we are accessing the index db of the browser and we are calling my db why you are not using idb here because idb is installed in node module that also you can use it here so we got and you need to export all the thing to your dist folder and after that just import that as a javascript module and use that but i feel it's pretty easy and it also shows that without any framework you can use the service worker the operation will be same we are opening the db with our database name so our database name is my db you can see here we have given the same name here as well so on error we are logging some value and on success we are accessing the db and we are calling the get data so when we got our db in that as i told you you, you will create a transaction so we are creating a transaction and giving that as a user store and from that transaction we are accessing our user store means the object store or the collection which we store again here so we create the ob object source as our user store and we are accessing the same here now as i told you we will going to get only those data where what we are sending it here so here we are sending the value as the key as a name and the value whatever we send from the ui and we are accessing that uh, key here and on error we are not doing anything for now and on success we are getting the result and we are sending the result to the add data and we are logging the value and in the add data what we are doing is we are again assigning this value to the object and we are making our fetch post call and this will be clear if you have if you watched the previous video if not that's what we are doing here and one more thing is in the angular dot json you can add your service worker file here so that you you don't need to like copy paste it every time whenever you will put a value copy our service worker file to the dist folder whenever the build will occur so now we will build our application as a ng the application is built so i will go to the our application here now here here you can see we have our service worker file copied to the dist folder and if you open it's the whatever we have added currently so now we'll start the server and now we'll go to the browser and so we got our updates now if i go to the service worker here you can see our service worker is registered with the updated file and now if i'll go to the index db here you can see our my db it get created with a store as user store means with a collection as a user store but it doesn't have any data yet so and the data will be added once the user will not have the internet connections and i will bring the server here and we'll just start the server as a node mon now it's running so now i will make a post call with the network connection so so you can see here we are getting the data that means everything is working here i will go and make the application offline and this you already know i don't need to explain this one and i'll just make a post data and you saw that we got the error and now if i will go to our application and i will go to the index db and just try to just refresh then you can see our data is inserted to our index db and whenever i will go to service worker and if i just release the offline mode here you see we got the data again so this is how 
you will use the index db so here we are using for background sync but you can use the index db as a local database as well you can store the blob date data also you you can store a lot of things there so that's it for today guys today we saw how you can use the index db by using idb npm package in the angular and by using normal index db from the windows object in our service worker file so please hit the like button if you are liking the video till now and please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will not miss the next video and the next video is about the background fetch and it will be awesome and if you are liking my work and you want to support me you can support me on the patreon i will give the link in the description below and please share this video among your friends family colleague so that everybody can use the background sync and index tb we are going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye